Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Subhajit. Welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. Like I said in the last video, today's video is all about customizing a Sigbar. And this is going to be a detailed video. So just keep watching. As you can see, I have already opened up an existing project. So here we have a Sigbar and image view. Actually I have discussed all these in the last video. So if you want to know more about Sigbar or how it works, then you should watch that video too. The link will be visible at the right top corner or somewhere in this video description. So we are going to customize this simple Sigbar. But before we begin, we must have some basic knowledge about the Sigbar. Like this circular shape is known as the thumb and this gray line, if you can see it, this is known as the secondary progress. And now if I set some progress value, mm, 30, now you can see another color on top of this gray line, right? This is known as the progress. So only in these areas we have to customize. Anyway, let's change this thumb color first. To do that, just type thumb tint and set a color. Add color um, red. As you can see in this preview section, the thumb color is changed. Also, you can change this default icon to our own icon. So just wait for a minute, I'll come to that later. Alright, now let's change this progress color. To do so, just add progress tint. Then set a color. I'm using the red color again. Now to change this gray line, we need to create a drawable file. Because its tint attribute doesn't work like these two attributes. Right click on the drawable folder, new, then drawable resource file. Let's name it uh, BG custom sigbar. Then as the root layout we need to use layer list. Now here just open up an item tag. And inside this we have to create a shape for the secondary progress background. So let's specify the ID at Android ID secondary progress. Now create a shape, angle bracket, shape, then shape again, rectangle. Now let's fill a color, angle bracket, solid, color at color um, I'm using black color for this I will also make it its corner a little bit rounded so angle bracket corners Android radius 12 dp okay now I'm going to create another item for the actual progress Let's specify the ID at Android ID progress. Now we need to create a separate drawable. Otherwise the progress color won't be reflected. So let's create a shape in a drawable file. Let's name it BG progress. Then as the root element just use shape. Now set a color using solid tag. And corner radius 12 dp. Now we can use this BG progress drawable over here. Like this. Angle bracket, clip, Android drawable, at drawable, BG progress. Finally, we can set this BG custom Sigbar drawable to our Sigbar using progress drawable attribute at drawable 
बीजी कस्टम सिग्बर परफेक्ट नाउ रन दिस कोड ऑन माय एम्युलेटर As you can see this is what we have done so far. All right? Now I'm going to change this thumb icon. And for that I have already designed an icon. So let me just import that. Let's copy this and paste inside the drivable folder. Now to set it as a default icon, just use thumb attribute. Then at drawable IC thumb. But as you can see around this icon, we got some white areas. Although this is a transparent png so to get its transparency back just add a split track attribute and pass false as you can see now it looks nice so this is how you can fully customize a sigbar okay now i'm going to talk about an issue and how to overcome so if we set a value in this layout height um, for dp Let's say this much of height we need for our sigbar. In this case, as you can see, the thumbs top and bottom sides got cut off, right? Therefore, as a solution, first we can pass our thumb icons height here. And this icon was created in terms of pixel resolution. It is 48 by 48. But the exact height of this icon is 24 pixel. And you must know this very much clearly. So I'm going to set 24 dp height. Then you can trim this bar using padding top and padding bottom attributes. Android padding top 10 dp. Padding bottom 10 dp. Now you can see it looks much better. And this is how we can get 4 dp height of Sigbar. So to sum up, you can adjust this padding top and padding bottoms value in order to get the desired sigbar height without its being cut off. In fact, you can apply all these steps for the vertical sigbar as well, whatever I have shown you till now. So I think that's it for now guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section. And if you feel this video helped you a little bit, then hit the like button, share with your friends and of course do subscribe for more content. So thank you so much for watching guys, see you soon in the next one.